one and all, I'm Alexis aka The Soft Reader and I'm here today to do my October TBR. Um, so for those of you who don't know, basically in the month of October I'm only planning to read thriller books. So books that are either psychological thrillers, YA thrillers, horror thrillers, all in that genre. Uh, I pretty much specifically hoard all of the thrillers I get in a year to read in October because um, I love the Halloween season. Uh, I love spooky scary stuff so yeah I'm pretty much saving everything to read this month. I also do want to mention that I will be participating in the Spookathon this year. I participated in it last year, loved it, definitely planning to participate this year so um, I haven't quite picked out my TBR for that yet so I will be doing a TBR video specifically for the readathon the closer to it it gets. Um, I believe it'll be running through the 16th through the 22nd so yeah, so I'll do a TBR closer to that, but assume that w at least one or two of the books I'm going to mention now are going to be on that list. So I want to start off by mentioning that I have four arcs I'm planning to read in the month of October, three of which were ones I tried to read in September and I didn't get to, so those are what I'm starting my month of October with because the first three all come out on October 10th. The first one is The Memory Trees by Callie Wallace. Can I even talk about this book anymore? Uh, this is the sophomore novel from Callie Wallace. Callie Wallace's debut last year was one of my favorite books of the year. It was a book I actually read for Spookathon and loved it. Um, this is about a girl and the relationship she has with her family, specifically I think her mother, but also this forest. I don't know. I've got an arc for it. I'm super excited for it. It's like a magical realism story. I'm here for it. The next arc that comes out on October 10th is This Darkness Mind by Minnie McGinnis. I've read quite a few of Minnie McGinnis's other novels, um, but this one I've heard is very weird. It's a YA thriller about this girl who is kind of a good girl. You know, she gets straight A's, she doesn't really do parties. She starts having memories of these events and these people that she has no recollection of until these memories pop up. And I believe the synopsis says it has something to do with her eating her twin sister in the womb. Sounds a little weird, but I'm interested to check it out. The next one that comes out on October 10th is Grey Wolf Island. This is basically about a bunch of friends who go to this island and weird stuff starts happening. So I heard the premise, kind of gave me and then there were none vibes. So I requested it, I got it, I'm gonna read it. The last arc that comes out in October is actually coming out on October 24th and that is The Afterlife of Holly Chase by Cynthia Han. This is about our main character who becomes the ghost of Christmas past, I believe. Um, I was originally going to wait actually closer to Christmas to read this book because of the subject matter, but I feel kind of guilty purposefully reading a book two months after it comes out, so I'm going to try to read it this month. Those are all the arcs I'm planning to read. Kind of went through those fast because I think I've mentioned every other one of them before. The next book I'm going to mention is one I'm planning to read on audiobook, and I'm pretty sure I'm going to read this one for Spookathon, um, but I'm planning to read it on audiobook, and that is Bird Box by Josh Mallerman. Um, and basically this is a book all about um, this world where there is some sort of creature or some sort of presence or something uh, that will kill you if you look at it. So this follows our main character and her two children um, basically as they're trying to traverse this world completely blinded uh, because of this, this horror. I've heard this book is super atmospheric and it's creepy and um, all the hosts of this bookathon have all read and really loved it and so I've been saving it for like a year till I could read it in October and I'm so excited for it. The next book I'm gonna mention is actually a reread and that is Murder on the Orient Express by Agatha Christie. Certainly not the most terrifying of mystery novels but I love Agatha Christie. I'm a huge fan of the mystery genre. This book is so atmospheric. It's one of her most atmospheric novels and the movie is coming out in November so I want to reread it before the movie comes out. It's been probably 10 years since I read it the first time. It's a really short little book but it's, it's good. It's a good one. The next two are books that were both book of the month picks um, within the last couple of months. They're both thrillers so I wanted to save them obviously for the spooky season. The first of which is Final Girls by Riley Sager. This is about a group of women who are known as the Final Girls. So they are the only living survivors of these tragedies. And it follows our main character, Quincy, as she is getting to know these other final girls. And then one day they actually discover one of these final girls dead in her bathtub. And everyone else believes it's suicide, but this group of final girls thinks it's something uh, a little bit different. They think somebody's actually hunting final girls down. Um, I've heard really mixed opinions on this one, so I'm excited to see how I feel about it. The next one is Emma in the Night by Wendy Walker. This follows our main character, Cass, who 
disappeared three years ago with her sister Emma um, and then now in present Cass has come back but Emma does not return and so basically Cass is telling her story about what happened to her and her sister and a forensic psychologist who kind of hears the story thinks that there's something not quite right going on. Um, I've heard some really crazy things about this and also Wendy Walker's other novel, um, but I got this one as my book of the month pick in September, so I'm super excited to read this one. It sounds like it's gonna be wild. The last book I'm hoping to read in October is one I actually have already mentioned. Uh, it's a book I mentioned in my end of the year book tag, which I will link down below, and that is You by Caroline Kepnes. This is another book that has a lot of mixed reviews. People either really love it or people either really hate it. This actually is told from the perspective of a stalker named Joe who was following this young woman around. Um, so we're actually following the stalker as he is stalking his prey. I've heard it's really, really creepy. And I've had this book for like two, maybe almost three years now. Uh, and so yeah, I'm super duper excited to finally be able to pick this one up and I hope it scares the bejesus out of me. Alright guys, those are all of the books I'm hoping to read in the month of October. Um, like I said, I will do a Spookathon TBR closer to once I decide what books I actually want to read for all of the challenges, but assume that some of these books will be on there. Um, but I would absolutely love to know what you guys are reading in the month of October. I would also love to know if you guys are participating in Spookathon. Alright, and I will see you guys soon with another video. Bye!